Additive lens flare is a really popular aesthetic. People like to add lens flare to their photos and to their video. Sometimes it can be an artifact though, and so I want to show you how to digitally create it, but also how to remove it. And the way that you create it in the field is you point your lens towards the sun. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So here's an image where I'm shooting into the sun and I have the sort of lens flare that really doesn't add to the picture at all. It's just created some artifacts on my file here. If we zoom in, we see that this is a tricky thing to edit because it's discoloring our image, but it's also changing the lighting. And some pieces are easier to edit than others. So for this part of the lens flare, selecting it, hitting our delete key to prompt content aware fill will work pretty well. It's looked at all the neighboring areas and filled them in. But if I attempt the same thing down here, it's not gonna work out as well for me. That's not acceptable. So what I need to do is use the patch tool and make sure that it's set to content aware. And the way this works is I just take that same selection and I move it up to an area that's close to matching. And the key to using this is not just dropping it on that area, but changing our adaptation method from very strict, which would be a literal interpretation, to very loose. This tool is unique in that you can change these parameters after you've applied it. And that one looks pretty good. Now let's talk about how to add lens flare. And for those of you who have used this feature in Photoshop, it's been there quite a while. It's an inherently destructive process. I want to show you how to do this in a non-destructive way and in a way where you can play around with the results and finesse it a little bit more. Okay, so here's our image and we want to add some lens flare to it. This will seem destructive at first. What we want to do is come in here to lens flare and just find a source point. Let's put it right there. You see that we can adjust the brightness and we have a few different choices. That one looks pretty good. When I'm satisfied, I'm going to click OK. But the first thing I'm going to do after I confirm that this is how I want it laid out is hit Command Z to undo it. Now I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to come over here to the Edit menu and fill that layer with black. Now I'm going to come up to my Filter menu and I'm going to reapply that. It's placed it right where we wanted it before. I'm going to change my blend mode to screen. I can toggle that off and on. It's non-destructive. I can also pull the opacity way down so it's a little more subtle. So there you see a great way to remove lens flare and a really neat non-destructive way to add it. It's a great one for your playbook.